Hello, uh, I'm going to be making a video about uh, Big Blue Button, how to sign up and how to get started with uh, recording your classes. Um, so let's just get straight into it. Um, you go to bbb.hackyfuture.dk, uh, then you land here, and then you press on sign up. You fill in your information here, click sign up, and then it'll say that uh, ad an administrator needs to approve you. Um, so what's, when that's done, that's like uh, Hacky Future us that approve you. And when that is done, you can um, press on sign in and put your email and password. And then you're kind of uh, logged in. Um, if you have a class that's coming kind of soon, just write to us and let us know that we should approve you and we'll approve you as soon as uh, we see it. Um, so basically this is how it looks. You can create uh, different rooms. Um, and then if for example we want to um, use here the home room um, then we just copy this URL that is the URL for the online call and we go to the slack channel with the class and we just post this and say like this is where we have the class today um, so we start a new meeting We want to join with the microphone and then it this normally takes just like a little bit of time so we can see if the microphone is working, working. Yes, yes that sounds good you are currently the only person in this conference and now here you can see that all the people joining will kind of uh, come in here um, I made a separate video about how to create breakout rooms but that happens here create breakout rooms um, so what you can do here is you can like choose the next slide here and then you can for example draw some stuff if you want to uh, which I think is, is quite nice as well um, you can uh, share your webcam um, oh that's because I'm recording right now and I cannot also use my webcam anyways if I wasn't recording then uh, it would come up um, and work just kind of like you expect you can share your screen just uh, select the screen and press share um, and then that's kind of working uh, let's remove that what else is there there's also some things where it's like start a poll for example you can do that with different questions if you wanna like figure out if the students understood um, what you're teaching then you can make like a small poll and see how they're doing um, another thing that has worked quite well is um, that you can add a status um, to your profile so for example one easy way of uh, asking if people are following is uh, you can you can like say uh, so people um, give us a thumbs up if you if you want us to move along or give us a thumb down if you want us to keep talking about this this um, this topic for example and then people will put an emoji and you can kind of see how the class is doing it's a little bit easier than asking a question because asking a question oftentimes just leads to no answers because people are a little shy but this seems to be working out uh, better it could also be like asking a, like a technical question so does this uh, function return an object or an array of objects for example if you think it returns an object put a thumbs up if you think it re returns an array of objects put a thumbs down and if you see that it's like 50 50 thumbs up and thumbs down then maybe you need to kind of dig a bit more into you know what you were explaining about uh, a function returning objects and those kind of things um, you can start recording here uh, and it records your screen also with the webcam and of course with what you've shared um, when you want to stop the recording you just pause it like this and then you just end the meeting um, so you know that that's of course after everything is done you just there's no like stop recording or like save recording it does that automatically on the server um, so yeah here I think everyone can kind of draw in if they want to anyways that's there's a lot of things you can do let's uh, end the meeting for now like that um, and then there's here room recordings 
Uh, normally it takes a little bit of time for the server to process the video so don't expect this video to show up like it, it takes sometimes some hours even for it to show up uh, that can maybe feel a little bit frustrating because you don't know if it saved the video but it should save the video and everything should be okay as at least as far as i know um, if you want to download the video here you can do that through the tool but uh, there is like a command like an open source command that you can uh, that you can uh, use that someone wrote that kind of downloads this uh, video uh, ask Rasmus about that or search for like big blue button video download uh, yeah you can probably find something um, that should be it um if you have any questions reach out thank you bye